Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. Coming to you with another pour. I have daily pours so don't miss any of them and press the subscribe button please. Um, it's free and it helps me. So thank you guys. Uh, today I'm going to just be using the um, Amsterdam paints. Now I got these in Australia from the online store Capriol Shabby Chic. There's a link in the drop down box. You can certainly buy these on Amazon in the United Kingdom, Europe and uh, USA. So they're easily available to everybody. Lots of the pourers do use Amsterdam paints amongst other paints. So I'm still trying to find my best pouring medium recipe with the Amsterdam paints for a Dutch pour. So I have great difficulty in um, really thinning my paints down. That seems to be the um, thing that you have to do if you're doing a Dutch pour. So what I've done so far is I, I have put 50% paint and 50% flow troll. Australian flow troll. Um, so I put 50-50. It still seems a little thick. So I'm just going to add some water to it. This is just water in here. So I'm just going to add water to my colours to get this consistency that seems to be the go with Dutch pores. Just can't seem to get it exactly the right consistency. I have had lots of successes with my Dutch pour kiss and blow technique. Um, which you need it a little bit thick because I'm putting balloon kisses in it. So just adding that water now and giving it a real good stir. So let's see how this one... That may be the consistency, just pour straight from the spatula. So fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Um, all of these colours are these colours, so... Three eight. I'm going to just say the numbers. Three eighteen, um, five seventy seven. I've got five sixty seven, and I have two seventy nine, and three ninety nine. So there you go. Those are the colours, and they're all coming colour coded. Uh, the numbers. So it's easier to get through that state. So just giving them a good stir. I am absolutely not adding any silicone. Um, I have no. I do add silicone to some of my, um, obviously some of my um, paints, but not this one because I want to do the Dutch pour and I'm not after cells as such, I'm after more lacing. This one seems a little bit thicker, so I might add a tinsy wincy bit and it's probably best to add less and stir and see if you get the correct consistency. So it appears to be the correct consistency um, for the Dutch pour. So I'm going to just grab my, this is my well used, um, it's just a piece of polystyrene that I used a hole drill to draw, drill the different cup sizes in it. So it's got these smaller cup sizes there. Then I put the push pins on the bottom so it stands up a little bit. I mean, it's just used out of pre-used packing, so then it holds your cups perfect without knocking your cups over. So I've got the smaller cups in that side. This side I mixed up the 557, which is greenish blue, and I did add a blob of black in there because I wanted it more to nave it. So that goes in my bigger cup size so then you've got a cup holder oh oh silly silly jilly next thing is okay put them aside as you all know Amsterdam are gorgeous paints and the likes of Rinska uses them and Molly and can I think Canella um, oh uh, Sam Samantha I can't think of all the Lovely girls, lovely young girls, or use these uh, paints too. So, 
and they're all available I just use a whole range of paints as you know I don't stick with one I use a whole range okay this is the navy and this is going to be my base color so I'm just hoping if that's okay I'll just try it but the next thing I want to do because I want some I want some glitter I want some luster in my paint so I am going to add some of the dragonfly glaze you see how it's sheeny shiny and you know what it doesn't matter what color dragonfly glaze it is because it all comes out like a milky color but then it's got this gorgeous luster in it Ooh, oops a daze and it just adds this glistening effect to any paint I've tried it in all my different brand paints oh these flies flipping flipping annoying they only come about when I start to paint now the dragonfly glass dragonfly glaze is available US UK on Amazon I get this from the online store too um, listed below but this is also now available iridescent medium and obviously it's a, a lot bigger container so a squirt of this in does exactly the same thing gives it this really uh, glossy luster look sheeny shiny so both are nice so whatever you've got or whatever you can get your hands on I like to give a few options don't stick to one option or one brand like I said I'll try them all so whatever may be available in your area your country just try them but yeah it just really gives them a you can just see it glistening in there already so as I do the paint I will come down and show you a bit closer what I really mean by this okay so the story the saga of this oh, party Susan lazy Susan it's my spinner I have painted it I think I'm on my fourth time and I was not happy with it every time it just and then yesterday I just used it when I was balloon kissing to put some of my balloon kisses on so it is well covered in paint it's been washed off and scraped off and God knows what so today I'm gonna try my Dutch pour on it so wish me luck guys that this Dutch pour looks absolutely magnificent they seem to look magnificent when I finish them and I, and then as it's drying they go duller on this board so I don't know what I should have done is I should have pre-treated the timber because it's just absorbing all my paint and use losing the you know the brightness in the paint so it's got plenty of paint on it now it is a bit lumpy but you know what I don't care that's a bit of texture so not a problem and I'm gonna try it again so oh, let's do this thing so let me see if I can that still might be too thick ah, I cannot get this I've just got this thing inbuilt in my head that will not let paint go too thin I'll just just um, in my head just thinks it, it you know might d uh, make the quality not as good but they they're good quality paint so it should be absolutely fine this is just glistening now with those that that um, dragonfly glaze in it absolutely beautiful so and I'm hoping because this has got a dark background pre done on the canvas that it's going to um, help when it comes to dry and dry darker like I would like it I want the background really dark and I want these bright reds and oranges to just pop your socks pop your socks so I'll just go over I know um, lots of the girls and guys uh, blow this with the hair dryer and just blow it over and I've done that before but um I'm doing it this way today so I will put a bit more on I suppose need seem to need plenty with the so you can blow the paints around oh, this is my 
is it the nemesis is it when you can't do something I can do most styles and I can do it in a fashion but not <laughs> as lovely as I would like so I suppose when you've always got a goal to improve it's a good thing it's not a bad thing so here we go yes I've had my oh, 60th birthday 60 oh my god I can't believe where the time has gone had some fun I tell you but I cannot believe I've reached 60 it's pretty yeah shocking shocking but you know I've had a good life and I'm still enjoying life so you know it's just a number isn't it it's just a number on a piece of paper as my husband keeps saying just like money it's just a number on a piece of paper don't worry about it <laughs> you haven't got it you worry okay I'm gonna put these yummy colors in so hopefully hopefully I will get something nice on this crazy party Susan otherwise it's gonna be like the fourth or fifth time that I will have painted on this particular object so it's driving me crackers that I can't get something that I really love and I, I want to really love it because I want to resin it and you don't I don't want to resin something that I'm not happy with so I've got all those lovely colors on there and I can tell you now they are sparkling because of that uh, dragonfly glaze in there absolutely sparkling Ooh, what lovely colors alive alive and now that orangey which is the 276 I probably don't need this much paint as usual I always use too much paint and wanted to have some negative space but look at look at me doing this again all the things that I should should be doing are doing wrong so anyway I'm just going to put a bit more of that blue to hopefully help my paint blow around this thing now I might just heat heat it get rid of the air bubbles try this Ooh, okay I've got it going hey, I've got it. my dryer my hair dryer so I'm just hoping this works well just got to try and slow down a bit I think how do I put it on cool okay this dryer don't go on cool don't blow either that I did white because it seems to be lost I will just not get this thing okay let me try and just sparkly now but boy oh boy has it laced up <laughs> so that is absolutely no uh, silica uh, no silicon in it I, d 
uh, I want to leave that little bit there. I would like to add some wispy bits, wispy noodly bits. Always like to, I just like this, softens it even further. I'm not sure. No, it is absolutely glistening like anything. And I mean, I suppose when you put resin on that, it will just. But what makes me really, really want to try my balloon? I just might try it on the side. Now, don't tell me off because I've used my balloon. I'm just using the balloon on the side for now, but I will try it one spot. If not, I will leave it. But I just think this board is just getting the better of me. I'm trying and trying and it, no, I don't think that's gonna add anything to it. Maybe just one or two, maybe just one or two, because then it puts my stamp in it, doesn't it? It's jillified. Alrighty, smack my hands, <laughs> smack my hands, please. I, yeah, <laughs> oh no, it's not really, um, it's absolutely glistening like anything. I'll bring the camera down and show you and you can let me know what you think. I will let it dry and then I will, um, if I don't like it, I'll paint over it again. If I love it, I'll resin it. So let me know what you think guys. So here we are now, look at this. See this glittering luster in it from that um, dragonfly glaze. So I know if this was resined, it would just absolutely pop. But I just think now the background is too dark and there's too much lacing in it like actually too much I would like to see some solid look at that luster in there so I've seen some of the recipes that use Floetrol and water and thought I would use Floetrol and water um, but yeah it's lustery and sheeny shiny but I'm just it's just overloaded with cells. There's so many people that can't get cells and I get cells when I don't want cells. So, there you go. Okay, thank you so much for joining me. Um, wait on for the end. Let me know, like, oh, what am I doing wrong? Let me know if you know. Um, constructive criticism is quite welcome. So I will let this dry and see, just see how it comes out. So thanks for joining me guys, until tomorrow, please take care. If you're feeling sad or lonely, please, please ring someone, don't suffer in silence. Um, ring a friend, ring a rally, or ring a helpline. So, or join me and watch my videos and my silliness. So, all good, until tomorrow, take care, bye for now.